let's talk a bit about strategy and course management. We're here on the third hole at Royal Pines. Now this hole is 559 metres long, which is well over 600 yards. Now that length of hole, par five, with my length, I'm never gonna reach it in two. Add into that, there's a hazard up the left-hand side near the green, there's a big lake that runs from about 70 yards short of the green right up to green side. So even if you bomb the driver down there and then hit your Sunday best three wood or driver off the deck, you're hitting into a very narrow landing area that slopes towards a lake. And the chances of you getting two shots down there on or very close to the green from this back tee are, for me, almost zero. So what I'm gonna do is I know I'm laying up on this hole anyway, so what are the ways I could make a mess of this hole? Well, I could stand here with driver and try to bomb a driver down there. And I could hit it in the trees up the left, the trees up the right, or even the water up the right. So I'm gonna avoid that. I'm gonna hit my trusty five wood. I'm gonna punch one down there. I'm gonna make sure it's on the fairway. And then I'm gonna be laying up anyway. I'm gonna be laying up with a five iron anyway and put myself in good position to try and make a birdie with my wedge. in good shape let's go see where it is and see we plan the next shot so here we are we're down at the ball in the fairway not in the trees or the water and we've got a nice clean line I've got 320 yards left to the green so if I want to leave myself say a nice little pitching wedge I need to hit this about another 180 200 so let's hit a five iron Take that bad boy iron cover off. Now, here's really important with strategy. When you're laying up on a par five, don't fall asleep on the layup. Don't think, oh, I'm just laying up and just hit like a, a, a quitty negative swing without a proper target and you end up in the, in the rubbish with, uh, for your third shot. So, pins on the front right. So I want to lay this up down the left hand side. So I'm going to hit it at the mobile phone antenna up on the hill there. I'm going to go full routine, pick my target, pick my intermediate target, and hit it like I'm hitting a shot in a par three. That should be absolutely perfect, perfect angle for the next shot. Let's get down there and take a look. Okay, so we've laid it up in perfect position, nearly into a divot, which would have been frustrating, but we've, we've ended up with a good line. So let's get a yardage now and see how far away we are. So I'm 109 yards, absolutely perfect distance, perfect angle. You can see the flag tucked away there over on the right. I've come down the left side of the fairway here. And now we're set up for a nice wet shot into the green. There's the lake that I was talking about, where if you, if you did bomb a driver down here and you felt like you could get the distance into, all the land flows to the lake and you're really just risking too much in trying to go for such a long par five and two with a hazard next to the green. So 109 is a full 54 for me. Let's see if we can knock this one close. some spun a bit left. Let's go see if we can make that putt. Okay, so we've hit 
three sensible positional shots on the longest hole on the course, the longest hole you'll probably come across on most golf courses. And we've managed to put ourselves one, two, three, four, 12 to 15 feet away for birding. So what I'm trying to illustrate is that you don't have to just stand on the, on the tee on a par five and because it's a par five, pull driver out. You don't have to stand up to your second shot on a par five and think, oh, I'm still 300 yards away, get my three wood out and try and get it as close as I can to the green. You can think about the shots and you can break a hole down into different distances and different positional positions that you want to be in to put yourself in this position at the end of the hole. So let's have a look, see if we can finish it off. But even if we don't, it's a nice easy five, nice easy par, and a very long, very difficult par five. And I gave myself a chance for a birdie. Anyway, so there you go, I've made a birdie. Three nice positional shots and a good putt. So don't reach for the driver, use your head. Hit the shots that are gonna keep the ball in play, put you in a good position, because it's all about where you end up at the end of the hole and what sort of a putt you got left of par or birdie. So like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. Catch you later. Thank you.